Thousands of people worldwide believe they've been abducted by beings from another world. But one question has undermined these incredible stories. Where's the proof? Many abductees claim it's the strange foreign objects they found in their bodies. Implanted, they say, by their alien captors. Their purpose unknown. Will the surgical removal of one of these items be the proof of aliens among us? With this procedure, we finally have the opportunity to get to the bottom of this incredible mystery. Whitley Strieber was already a successful fiction writer when he published a landmark book in 1987 about his own abduction experience. The book, Communion, triggered an unprecedented reaction around the world. I was shocked to find that thousands of others said they had experiences similar to mine. And many of them reported finding strange foreign objects in their bodies after their abductions. If these are alien implants, it's a horrifying thought. What are they for? We found one man who believes he has an implant and wants it out of his body. He wishes to be referred to only as Paul. Paul, how did you first become aware that you might have an implant? I was skiing with some friends. I took a fall. They took an x-ray of the hand and there was a strange object next to my thumb. How did you feel when you found out the object was there? Well, the first thing is, is why me? I'm not a particularly extraordinary person. Why would I be tagged? I had this feeling like I was a, uh, a wild animal or a, or a piece of cattle. I don't know how it's influencing my life, my thoughts, my health. I don't want that thing in me if I didn't give them permission to put it in. The object appears to be in the thumb, and it should be a relatively simple procedure to go in, isolate it, and remove it. Los Angeles Dr. Roger Lear and his partner, UFO researcher Daryl Sims, have studied hundreds of alien implant claims. And Lear himself has removed two objects from the bodies of supposed abductees. These objects seem to be all over the body, deep inside the skull, in the brain, near the lung, uh, virtually every place you can imagine on human anatomy. We are trying to find out by a scientific method and use those principles of science to find out exactly what this phenomena is and what's going on in these individuals. So far, test results have been inconclusive, but Lee is convinced the object in Paul's hand is different and might be the evidence they're looking for. He bases this conclusion on one curious detail. Paul is an interesting case. We uh, took a physical examination of his uh, hand and arm. We looked for the telltale marks of the portal of entry. Uh, we didn't see any. There was no scar. It had to enter somewhere. It had to enter somehow. Paul has no memory of a previous injury, even as a boy. But perhaps this mystery isn't as mysterious as it seems. Now if this fragment went in along the same lines as the creases of the thumb, you, you may not have noticed it. Dr. Nazreen Babu Khan of the University of Southern California School of Medicine believes there's a more innocent explanation for the mysterious object in Paul's hand. It's very easy to forget that you've gotten a bump or that you got hurt or that you had a pencil poke you in school. Uh, a lot of people come in and they have no recollection of it. He may have not noticed that something went under his skin and the skin may have healed over it um, very nicely, not even showing a scar. Nevertheless, Lear and Sims are convinced the other foreign objects that have been removed offer clues that suggest an intelligence was involved. The nerves that they were attached to seems to indicate that there was a procedure there done that allows whomever did this to monitor that person's uh, biological functions and even to control them. They could be tracking devices. These could be devices for monitoring a genetic change or genetic progression uh, in the body. Perhaps if they are truly implants, they are there for a purpose where we as a human being couldn't even surmise. Just what is the foreign object inside Paul's body? The only way to know for sure is to have it removed. Are you afraid of having this taken out? I am afraid of what might happen when it's being taken out. 
Has it been designed in a way that's going to harm me when it's removed? I don't know. Am I anxious? Am I afraid? Sure I am. Will I be relieved if it's not alien? You bet. With everything in place, the surgical team begins its work. A local anesthesia numbs Paul's hand. The surgeon makes an incision, and it's time to remove the foreign object. The object is dark, almost black in color. I think it's fairly safe to say at this point that this object is certainly not similar to any of the usual objects that are removed from the human body. This is one of the most unusual objects uh, that I've seen in uh, 34 years of the medical practice. The first step in analyzing the object was to study its surface. To do that, it was examined through a scanning electron microscope. This allowed for it to be magnified up to 500 times its actual size. The object appeared to be predominantly iron, perhaps a small fragment of a steel knife or tool. But in order to reach a more definitive conclusion, the unknown object had to be analyzed under its surface, on the inside. For that process, it was brought to the University of Texas in San Antonio. It looks like it might be an iron oxide. If we can crush it and get it to very small size, we'll be able to really get to the internal structure more readily. The object resisted crushing, but an outside layer did flake off. This was put under X-ray diffraction, and the results of this test were curious. They couldn't match it to any of the 65,000 known substances in their computer file. It's not in our file. I'm not sure what to think about that at the present time. That's as many known substances that we have on the planet as possible. According to the lab's official report, if the material analyzed is indeed iron, it lacks any internal ordered arrangement of atoms or ions. Whatever substances make up this unknown sample, it's a mystery this test couldn't solve. The combination of these elements could be put together by nature, they could have been put together by man, or they could be put together with a different type of uh, physics that uh, we have little knowledge of. This is an extraordinary discovery. Why can't it be identified? It just confirms for me that this abduction phenomenon and now implant phenomenon must be taken seriously and studied. Of course, other tests may offer a more conclusive analysis of what this unknown object may be. Until then, Paul must deal with the unexpected emotions he's felt since the object was removed. I had this experience of emptiness, sort of like a feeling like maybe a pet had died. I'm not sure how to explain it other than this sense of something missing. <laughs> 